Hi guys, this is Ricky Lendell from rickylendell.com. Um, today we're going to take a, a couple phone calls um, to uh, go ahead and get our next coach's corner, kind of our uh, way to work with the people who are really interested in working with the group, working with our show, and uh, as well as kind of get your guys' feedback and input. Uh, Mark, who do we have on the line? Hey, we've got Sergio, Thiago, Fernando, Paulo, Alvarez from Minas Gerais, Brazil. Uh, that's uh, Minister Ice. Uh, Minister Ice. Mark. But uh, obviously Mark hasn't spent a lot of time in Brazil. Um, Sergio, uh, go ahead, please. Oi. Uh, Sergio, is that you? Ricky Landell? Uh, yes, this is uh, RickyLandell.com. Uh, Sergio, go ahead. Uh, we're looking for your take on our next Coach's Corner. Well, uh, from Brazil, I've been be watching your, your show for... Very long timing, and I very much want to want to watch uh, some some fighting today. Uh, yes, Sergio. Uh, if you could just uh, maybe give us a give us a name or give us a topic, I'd I'd be happy to find you. Well, I like doing taking down in the gym in my my country. A very very nice takedown in Brazil. Um, maybe Bochecha or Nogueira at the Mundial. Oh, yeah, yeah, you know what, um, Sergio, I, uh, I've looked for that match before and I've had a hard time finding <laughs> it. Uh, Sergio, all right, you, st you still with us? Sergio? I very much want to watch him, it's fighting. Sergio. Uh, Sergio, are you there? Mark, it looks like we lost Sergio on the line. Um, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, Sergio? Sergio. Hey, Sergio. I thought, I thought we lost you there for a second. No, uh, I, I'm very much calling from, from very much far. And uh, we just got done with training. The gym, and I very much like him taking down, but I don't know all these to take it down. But I've been working my own plaza very much, and having him pull for me the 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 uh, sweep into him. But uh, in Ricky Lundell coaches corner, how do you how do you feel, Sergio? <laughs> <laughs> to be honest with you, I don't know where you're going with this, but I'm going to throw on that match for you right now. Um, me and Mark are having a heyday, but we will uh, we'll get that out to you right away. Thanks so much for coming on the show with us. Hey, and all you guys, get your coaches cornered into us because we really want to help you guys out. Thanks for calling in. All right, let's get started. All right, now on the, on the, uh, on the line with... Uh, Mr. Sergio Chiago Fernando Paulo Alvarez um, from Minister Rice. He uh, was telling us that he very much liked uh, the takedowns in this match. So I thought, you know, we might as well go in and look at him and, and make sure that it's up to par with what we believe world class should be. So uh, right here, nice shot in uh, with the toes down. Um, no drive on it, no head position. Um, also, on the takedown defense side, no whizzer. He's pushing down on the head, but really, Blue could just circle around to his back at any time right here. Let's keep going on this and see if he does. Nope, he's uh, still toes down, falling on his face, still toes down. Nice little sit sweep there. He reached for far ankle, but as you can see, he couldn't ever get to far ankle because he can't drive, no position. Even him holding the belt, if he really just cut around this corner and grabbed far ankle, he'd drive him right down, no problem. Um, or he could cut to the front. He'd have to elevate his head and use some head position, maybe uh, use some athleticism, some kind of structure, and some footwork to actually finish this shot. But uh, I don't see that happening just from where I'm at right now. Um, of course, there's options on a crackdown. How do you if he hooks the heel or knocks him down. But just look at look at his position right here. Um, ooh, 
very uh, old school self defense on that leg leg hook that he tried to do there. But you can just see, I mean, he's holding on for dear life. He's not really going to get anywhere. And even the top guy, terrible takedown defense in this in the fact that he needs to be getting the knee down, needs to be getting the hips on the head, squaring up his hips so he can cut a corner. Um, right here, he's just asking to have the guy drop into half guard or just hold on to the leg. Neither one is really being offensive in this position. Very, uh, oh, very, very bad right here. If, if we had... Uh, some good takedown defense. He would drive this direction and knock him right over. He's got the wrong leg up. Um, stepping it up here, you can see that there's nothing here holding him up from just getting knocked over. But there's no forward pressure and no driving pressure. Um, still, Blue is on his toes. Now he's got a hand down. He could drive him over, catch the hand. You know, I'm just going to kind of let this go for a minute. Um, you know, I'm tr I'm I'm honestly trying to trying to find something good going on for you guys here. Uh, ooh, the wrong leg up again, legs too close. He's hooking the leg, but that'll just get him flipped right to his back if he really just got driven forward at all. You know, you can see the top guy in white is looking to go a little bit judo and sit under for a sweep when he could just be coming over the top and scoring any time here. There's really no position here that's that's worth anything for any sport any style um it's not going to take you far that's for sure as you can see just by the lack of lack of action you know this this right here to me guys is is one reason that it's going to make it really hard for jujitsu to get in the olympics is when matches look like this i mean it's like watching paint dry guys we got to be doing something we need to be work in position the toes are still down unathletic here these guys are such now he's standing in one spot. You got to be moving. You got to keep moving, keep moving. He's going to look to sit down and throw him any second just because he's throwing, holding him here. Got taken down, but he grabbed the front knee instead of the far ankle. Should have switched his hands on that, and he actually would score this position. That hand should still be holding the leg. That, his left arm should be coming around and grabbing the far ankle to finish this shot. So opposite on the hands. That's why he just stood back up. He's a, he, so much, there's such a lack of pressure, in fact, that if I take this back just barely, you'll see that the white guy, the guy in white, um, Buchecha, can actually look over and look at his coach when he gets up. Look, he looks at his coach. He's like talking to his coach over here and looking at the scoreboard. Under real attack, hunchback right here, no pressure. Even that throw didn't have enough pressure. He needs to get his hips on top. He jumps around. He jumps over the top. You know, uh, I'm glad to see something going on here. But, you know, all that time, there could have been some kind of score, something better. Guys, I urge you guys to, to work on your real takedowns. Let's just take that back for a second. Look at it just one more time. I mean, the shot, He as he shoots, he lands on his knees right there. Boom. No pressure, no head position, and then doesn't really move much again. Um, you know, he should be working a lot more on his his uh, over-the-top offense than he should be on just sitting and doing that judo throw. He ends up attempting that judo throw three times, um, and he stands up and just waits for him to do it, not really pushing the action and pushing the offense. Um, I did have a request from another person to take this match to eight minutes, and five seconds um, and just look at this spot as well oh I'm sorry guys that that cut back let me just take that forward for you guys right here no pressure driving forward he's got the same he's got he's running an Iowa right here but he should be torquing this outward to force him onto his back you see this a lot when people are passing somebody's guard now guys turn over and try to control but you can't push him down unless you got, you're up on your toes and you're driving. Guy's rolling his head through, hip pressure, unhook the foot and drive him over. Um, you know, I, I see a lot, of, a lot of things that wrestling could really help these guys with. You know, guys, if we want to get this sport to the next level and really get this thing to the Olympics, we got to fix these minor mistakes. We got to start awarding points for takedowns, not allowing people to pull guard, awarding points for stand up escape so that that way we push that aspect of the game um thanks for tuning in to this week's coach's corner not as positive as i would have liked it to be but uh 
I think it has a lot of information that you guys could take home and really learn from it. Thanks so much for tuning in, guys.